Rowling, good afternoon and congratulations on signing a contract extension with the club. You must be delighted to do that so soon uh, bef- or so long before the end of the season. Yeah, I'm buzzing to be fair. Uh, as soon as the gaffer told me, I just wanted to sign it and uh, get going and carry on with the season. Your season, how would you rate your season so far? You've, you've made three first team appearances. Would you, You'd obviously would have liked more, but you've been learning all the time. Yeah, of course. I'm delighted to have played and I've uh, broke through this year. But uh, as a player, you always want to play more. But sometimes you can, and I understand that. But yeah, so far, I'm, I am happy that I've played and just want to push on now. You've travelled all over the country and sometimes not even been on the bench. You've had to do your, your running afterwards or beforehand. What's, how, how do you cope with that? Uh, it's part of the game, I guess. I mean, I'm still learning my trade and it's all about the experience. So it's always good to be around the first team and watching the games and watching the people in my position uh, and going away and seeing how others prepare and that before games. So it's good. And, and you're into a, a really lively group of players, but a very close-knit group of players. I mean, and they've, they've accepted you in without, without question, I think. Yeah, the group is quality, to be fair. You've got a lot of strong characters in the group and... Uh, they help you always, like remember playing, like they always talk me through the game throughout the whole day, make sure I'm relaxed and uh, everyone's good and look after each other. There's no bad eggs, everyone's a good bunch of lads to be fair. Well, you're the third central defender to uh, sign a contract extension in, in the last few weeks. I mean, is there, is there a great deal of competition between between all of you? Yeah, of course, there's competition. Everyone wants to play. I don't guess, I don't think there's one of us who don't want to play, but I guess everyone's good and everyone has good qualities, so everyone's just working hard to get a shirt and keep going, really. I'm just, I'm just thinking the first time we spoke to you it was out in Portugal and it was a lot warmer then yeah. than it is out here on the balcony at the, <laughs> in the West Stand but um, you've come a long way since then Yeah definitely a pre-season I didn't know where I was going to go from there after the season started but it's good like it's gone this way and now I just want to kick on Do you remember your, your debut it was a long time ago back in August against Wickham I think in the Checker Trade Trophy what, what were your thoughts at that time? Yeah it was, I remember it vividly but it was a good experience uh, came yeah. on and the game was kind of almost done, but uh, it's always good to come on. And uh, I thought it did alright as well for the last few minutes, but it was just good. Like I felt a bit nervous when I came on, but once I got used to it, it was okay. And then the, the, the league, the two league games you played yeah. with Tom Broadbent, um, Scunthorpe and Northampton, quite a contrast yeah. in those two games, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the first game against uh, Northampton was an incredible 6 0 win. I think uh, everyone played out this game that day. Uh, and then the Scum Folk game, everyone had to dig deep and we conceded quite late, which is a bit disappointed. But with Broadburn as well, he was good to play alongside next to. He always talked me through it, guided me throughout the game. So it was good to have him next to me, yeah. So, what, what, what are your aims for, for the future now? Obviously, to get more game time, but you must have, how much do you feel you've, you've learned as a player so far this season and developed? I think I've learned a lot about the league, like especially when you go away and see different teams and, uh, and you watch the games a lot. I think I know about my positions a bit more and uh, I know how the star and how the manager wants me to play and uh, the requirements that you need to have in this league. But I'm still learning and got a way, long way to go and I'm still developing. So I just want to play, but obviously I just got to wait for my time and if I get a chance, I've got to take it. All your games have been away from home. You've not yet experienced the atmosphere at the Mem. You must be looking forward to that, sampling that before the end of the season. Yeah, I've seen the boys play here and they've had some good wins here and uh, it's bouncing around here, to be fair. Uh, it's a nice place to play. It's a nice ground. Uh, so hopefully I get a chance to play at home soon. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, and obviously another long trip this weekend, Doncaster, and I'm, I'm guessing you'll be uh, making a trip not knowing whether you're, you're in or out of the squad. Yeah, there's a far way to go, but uh, whatever happens, all about the three points, and there's all about the boys going down there and getting the result, really. Uh, it'd be good if I get involved, if not, just uh, learn from it and then push from there. And long term, do you see, do you, you, you harbour ambitions of being a, a regular first choice central defender? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you want to learn your trait, but obviously, it's a good club to play at, and I want to play here and uh, want to become, obviously, uh, starting and playing regularly at the club, but I guess it takes time, yeah. Just a word about a, a former Western colleague, Dale Grubb. Would you have played with him? Yeah. And he's just gone into the league as well, hasn't he? Yeah, uh, Grubb is a good player, to be fair. He can go either way. He's got good balance, got good feet. He's got, got comfortable on the ball. And it's good to see him doing well as well in the football league, to be fair. Does that say something about the coaching staff at Western or the staff yeah. down there? I think we had a great staff. We had a good manager. The staff were good. We played a good way. I think it's a good club and like in the league as well. We played well and... 
we didn't really finish as high as we should have, but I think there's a good talent in our league and the, the coaching got the best out of us in, the, in that team. Well, any more to come through, do you think? Uh, you never know. There's still some good players in that league, definitely, yeah. yeah. So you never know, honestly. Everyone's got a chance at the end of the day, but yeah, you never know. Well, back to you and congratulations anyway. Cheers, right. Keith, appreciate it. Thank you.